Hello, my darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for Mercury Retrograde. Please, Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do my Virgos need to know, please, for this upcoming Mercury Retrograde, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. What messages do we have here for my Virgos, please? So we have the star, Aquarian energy, the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we have the Nine of Swords, Pre-Empress energy, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean energy. We have the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, the Lover's Card, Gemini, Five of Swords, the Moon, Cancer, Piscean, Two of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Virgo, I feel like there's an energy of, I want something, I want to pursue something, but I'm afraid because I, I would rather be single. <laughs> there's an energy of I, I want to pursue something I really want this but I'm afraid because I don't want to lose my independence with the high priestess the seven of cups and the knight of wands I feel like there is someone here that has a shit ton of options I mean like a lot of options Virgo I feel like there's an energy here um, this is someone that has dealt with a lot either with an ex or in their childhood this is someone that maybe um, likes to create illusions or play mind games to keep themselves in a in a state of separation from other people they, this may be something that they have been dealing with since childhood or perhaps someone here got screwed over by an ex so bad that you know this person still has a lot of repressed emotion about it and they like to keep their distance um we have here the sun leo energy we have the ten of wands and the Queen of Swords. Um, but I feel like someone is starting to realize that their person has had it. Okay. Um, I feel like up until now, the person that this, this main person, so someone has a lot of options, but there's one main person here that Virgo, now you could be this main person or you can have a main person. I don't know, but there's one person here that's offering wish fulfillment. I feel like there's one person here above all the rest that someone would want to give their heart to, right? But there's an energy of I want to stay single. I want to stay single because I have so many. It's like a fear of missing out. Do you understand? But someone is getting tired. This, this, this person here, this wish fulfillment person is getting tired. They're not trusting in this connection anymore. Hermit, Virgo, energy, the four of swords and the devil someone's tired of the toxicity someone here maybe sabotages connections to go back to their exes or to go back to um maybe someone here has a, a long string of exes that you know they've stayed friends with all their exes or a lot of friends childhood sweethearts or maybe family gets involved i don't know but there's toxicity here there, there's something that comes in between you and this person. And I feel like the person that keeps getting hurt here is tired. They want to pull away. They want to get away from this. We've got the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy, the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy, and the Five of Wands. Someone has been waiting for a long time. Someone has been fighting for a long time. Maybe there's been a lot of competition, jealousy, strife, drama. Someone here has been waiting to, for this to come together for a long time, and now they're tired. We've got the Hierophant. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. And we have the Four of Wands. Someone here may be finding out that someone's in a higher level of commitment. 
Yeah, someone here, may, either someone is finding out that their person is in a higher level of commitment or someone is finding out that maybe due to religious purposes or maybe due to family, this can't come together. We've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Judgment card and we have the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. I feel like... I feel like someone wants to make a decision based off of love. Someone wants to make a decision based off of passion. Someone wants to make a decision based off, finan off of financial security. And I feel like this Queen of Pentacles energy has all of that. I feel like there's someone here that has all of that, okay? And someone's realizing that, but there's blockages here. Either someone is in a higher level of commitment or someone's family doesn't approve of this connection. We we have the Two of Swords, we have the Chariot, Cancerian Energy, and we have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian Energy. Someone here may have to choose between a mother and their person, or someone here may have to choose between a parent and their person. Someone here may actually decide to just elope and like, okay, well, if I marry you, what can my family really say, right? We have the Five of Pentacles and we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Someone here has a plan, Virgo. Someone here is trying to leave something behind. Someone here is trying to figure out a way to get what they want, but they know that they have to leave something behind to get it. We have the Two of Cups and we have the Seven of Swords. Someone here may be in a relationship and cheating or someone here may be trying to get away from something to pursue their soulmate connection. We we have the six of pentacles and we have the ten of cups someone here cannot give fully to a situation either due to a family member or because they have a family somewhere else we've got the ace of pentacles and we have the page of wands there's promises of a new beginning here there's promises of prosperity we have the eight of wands here with the three of cups and the world card. I feel like I feel like someone is moving on because they don't want to be in a third party anymore here, Virgo. Or it could be that someone here is coming in um, saying, listen, you know, I want to reconcile with you. The worst is over. I'm leaving something behind. I'm coming towards you. We've got the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We have the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the Three of Wands. I feel like this may have started off Virgo um maybe as a sexual connection someone coming in someone coming out but i feel like the more this went on someone is yearning for commitment here with you we have the justice card libra energy and we have the four of pentacles someone is realizing that um the person that's withdrawing from this is deserving of that. That someone here doesn't deserve to be treated the way they've been treated. We've got temperance and the death card. I feel like someone realizes that if they're going to go back to apologize or make peace here, there has to be some major changes, Virgo. There has to be some major changes. We have the death card and we have the strength card. Something here needs to end. Something here needs to end. Someone needs to pull away from a situation and come forward with a full cup of love here Virgo um, we have a situation where the two of pentacles and the page of swords it's out that someone here has been juggling the truth is out and um, I feel like someone's not going to forget it someone's not going to forget it and it's been being divinely guided this way so that someone makes their choice okay someone is not going to forget it now so this can no longer go back to the way things were Virgo they can't go back to the way things were, were. someone here has to invest in one connection we've got the six of wands and the magician someone here needs to work on what you know the one that you work on is the one that you will have victory on virgo so i don't know if you're the one who has to make the choice or if this person does but whoever this person chooses it's going to be successful do you understand because they're only going to focus on that one person do you see what i'm saying like whatever, whatever this person decides, the connection will be successful. But someone here ultimately needs to make a decision. Someone ultimately needs to make a decision. All right. And I feel like that will be coming. Everything will be coming to a head during Mercury retrograde. So someone's back is going to be pushed against the wall to finally make a decision during this Mercury retrograde. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.